Hi everyone, welcome back to Coding with Bharat channel. So as you know, we have been doing Kedane's algorithm as our topic of the week and we are doing problems through it. So today I'm going to take up one more problem on the same idea, which is maximum score of spliced array. So let's directly jump into the problem. So if you have been liking my video so far, make sure that you hit the like button by the end of this and do subscribe to the channel if you are new here. Yeah, and let's get started. So if you look at the problem, it says that you are given two arrays, nums1, nums2, right? And both have size n, so two arrays of the same size. Now it asks you to choose two numbers L and R, so left and right. And what you want to do is you want to swap, you want to swap the subarray nums1 left to right, so the subarray in the nums1 from this particular position with nums2 so in a way if i go to the whiteboard let's say you have two arrays 1 3 5 2 11 and let's say another array 3 4 2 9 6 so let's say you take this particular sub array so what do you want to do you want to swap 1 3 with 3 4 so this will become 3 4 and this will become 1 3 okay so exactly one such operation you need to do take a sub array from nums1 and the same lr from nums2 and swap them okay so what it says after swapping you have to yeah what you have to do you have to calculate score of the total arrays so what is the score of the array you take sum of nums1 you take sum of nums2 and calculate the max of the two so for example here after swapping sum of nums1 will be 11 plus 5 16 plus 4 20 plus 3 23 plus 2 25 so 25 and sum of second one similarly you can calculate so this is 25 so here we get 15 17 and 20 and 21 so out of this max which is this 25 okay this becomes your score of the swap so you want to maximize the score so you want to make that swap between the two arrays which maximizes the maximum sum out of the two great so that is about the question let's think about how we can go about it so if we actually see and go via the brute force way what we can do is we can try to fix our lnr so run two loops to fix lnr make that swap and then find the sums and take max right so so i'll say what would the brute force be for l equal to 0 to n minus 1 for r equal to l to n minus 1 so we have our l and r now swap the two so swap or if you don't want you don't need to actually take the swap also what you can do you can take sum of nums1 like till l then l to r in nums2 and then r to end in nums1 similarly you can calculate the other way around the sum take the max and update the maximum answer that we can get so so yeah take running sums of the three possibilities cool so that would be your basic n cube solution why n cube l and r fixing is n square and then you are calculating the sums which is again another n so n cube to optimize it how we can go about it one way is we can rely on prefix sums so prefix sums so now what we can do is if we if we actually think about it when we do the swap what will happen one answer answer one would be prefix sum of nums one till l minus one so p sum one till l minus one plus prefix sum of two from l to r because that is what we want to take from the second array so prefix sum of two of r minus prefix sum of two l minus one right so prefix sum till r minus prefix sum till l minus one let me just move it a little bit okay third from r till end you need to calculate the sum from again prefix sum one 
so plus prefix sum 1 of n minus 1 minus prefix sum of 1 till r minus 1 right so sum here sum of the middle from bottom and sum of this side similarly replacing ps1 with ps2 and ps2 with ps1 you get your answer to which is sum of the beginning from the second array middle from the first array and uh, last from the second array again so you will calculate similar way answer 2 and update your original answer as maximum of answer 1 comma answer 2 comma originally stored answer so answer 1 answer 2 and answer okay so so basically run two loops and then using prefix sum quickly calculate the two sums that you will get after swapping and then take the maximum so this would be n square approach using prefix sum which would be slightly better than our n cube approach which is the worst case okay so these are the brute force ways let's talk about how we can optimize it further so let's just think about it for a moment if you have not so just pause the video here if you want to take a moment to think how you can go about improving it further or building our idea of maximum sum array or cadane uh, cadence whatever the name is into this particular problem great if you were able to think about it if not let's get into it and let's see what the problem was okay so let's say we have first array let's say we have our second array okay let's think about it if we decide if we decide to make a swap of these two then what will happen to some of the first array and what will happen to the sum of the second array so let's say this is s1 this is s2 so if you think about it these three elements are going out of s1 right they are going out of s1 and the corresponding elements from s2 are getting added here so in a way can i say s1 would be adding up 2 minus 1 2 would be added 1 would be subtracted similarly plus 4 and minus minus 3 so plus 4 minus minus 3 plus 6 we are going to add and 4 we are going to subtract right so so in a way if you think about it s1 is going to be adding 2 4 and 6 and removing 1 minus 3 and 4 and opposite would be the case for s2 so from s2 we will be subtracting 2 adding 1 subtracting 4 adding minus 3 similarly subtracting 6 and adding 4 okay so if we think in these terms of individual elements and we want to maximize the sum let's say of s1 only for now right then what we should do is we should pick that sub array which gives us the maximum profit right so in a way can i say let me create a profit array if i migrate so let me create a profit array if i decide to migrate my elements from s2 to s1 so so if i move my elements from s2 to s1 like swap then what is the benefit that s1 will get so if i migrate the first element what will happen 3 will be added to s1 and 2 will be subtracted so can i say the profit would be 3 minus 2 second sub array what will happen 2 will be added and 1 will be subtracted similarly 4 minus minus 3 6 minus 4 and 2 minus 5 so in a way 1 then 2 minus 1 is minus 1 then this one is 7 this one is 2 and this one is minus 3 so if you think about it we would like to take that sub array from this which maximizes our profit 
so in a, in a way we want to select that sub array from this which gives the maximum sum from what from this profit array so yeah the best way is probably to select these two 7 plus 2 9 as we'll be getting a profit of 9 when we swap these particular elements so now what we are doing in a way with this approach is not trying with every sub array but just taking that sub array which maximizes the profit right and how did we calculate profit if i swap two elements then in a way s2's element will be added to it added into the profit and s1's element will be subtracted so s2 element minus s1 element that is how we created this profit array one more thing this problem is still incomplete because right now we have calculated the maximum profit for s1 that we can get by swapping let's talk the same through for s2 as well so what i'll do i'll create another profit array this time for s2 right so i'll probably remove all of this yeah so already we have got that okay maximum profit that we can get by swapping is nine so in a way if i talk about the total sum that i'll get for s1 so right now the sum is what 5 plus 4 9 9 plus 1 10 plus 2 12 minus 3 which is 9 so 9 plus 9 is 18 and that is the maximum sum that i can get and how will i get that by swapping this 4 comma 6 so if you actually see if 4 goes here and 6 goes here then answer will become 6 plus 4 10 plus 5 15 plus 1 16 plus 2 18 and that is what we have got here so original sum plus the maximum profit that you can get let's do a similar calculation for s2 so i'll do that in black so already the sum of s2 if we think about it is what we have we are getting 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 4 so 10 10 plus 3 and 5 15 and plus 2 17 so already we have 17 as the sum now if i swap if i swap things from s1 into s2 let's see what profits we will get so yeah so in a way if i swap the first element i'll be getting a minus one because three will move out two will come in here i'll be getting a one because two will move out one will come in so oh actually minus one here as well oh so i think we got the first one incorrect right so first one i wrote this as minus one so so there is a small correction there it should not have minus one right so yeah uh, just, just recalculate it i think the answer will not be 18 then but in fact we'll be swapping these and these also so answer will become 20. you can recalculate it just once recalculate it for the previous case and you'll get 20. okay but let's complete the calculation that we were doing for s2 case so here if we swap these two four will move out three will minus three will come in so in a way minus four because four moves out and plus minus three so minus seven is what i'll get six will move out four will come in so again minus two last case two will move out five will come in so plus three so maximum profit that we can get is just plus three by swapping five and two right so if i do plus three then my answer will become 17 plus three which is 20. so basically you need to consider two cases you take s1 and find the profits that you can get by swapping some elements of s2 into it right so calculate the profit sub array profit array find the maximum sum from it and swap that and use that answer second case take s2 sum and try to create maximum profit by moving elements from s1 into it and yeah take the maximum so let's see that in action in form of code as well we go to my submissions and this okay so if you see in main what i've done i've just returned maximum of calculate the best result for nums1 nums2 that is when i pick a sub array from nums2 and put it into nums1 second case i have said calculate the best result when i pick nums2 and move some elements from nums1 into it so yeah maximum of the two cases let's look at this main function which is calculate result so it takes two arrays first thing that i do is i calculate the sum of all the elements in the first array so that is my original sum without considering any profits that is my original sum sum of the elements of nums1 second thing that i'm doing is 
changing nums to into the profit array so how am i doing that i am saying nums to i will be equal to nums to i minus nums one i nums one i why because if i move this element into nums one then i'll be adding nums two element and subtracting nums one element so in a way this is this now becomes nums two now e becomes equal to my profit array right so after this step i have my sum i have my profit array so i just need to calculate the maximum sum sub array from this profit array and that is what exactly i have done this is exactly the code from the previous video where we use skedane's algorithm to find the maximum sum sub array so i've initialized my answer to minus 1 i have changed my nums to of 0 based on 0 or anything right then every time i'm adding nums to of i plus equal to previous and using that to update my answer and finally returning sum plus answer okay so yeah that is that is how it is happening a uh, slight change that you would see here in the previous code that i had written i was doing answer maximum first and then i was doing this similarly here also like the statements were swapped so that was because for all negative cases like if every element gives a negative profit minus one minus two minus three minus four right so then then in a way in the previous question there was a problem your your this code would have given zero as the result that don't make any swaps just keep zero as the answer but here in this problem if there is no profit by swapping an element the second one will automatically become your best case like you'll swap the entire arrays and uh, yeah so basically entire array one array two you'll swap and at the end of the day you will get one of them as the answer so that is why even not swapping anything is possible here right we are not ruling that out so that is the difference between this and the previous one in the previous one we did not need to consider the case where we take empty sub array or don't make a don't uh, have any element in the sub array but here we can take the entire sub array which is equivalent to making the complete swap and getting the best answer right even if you swap these two statements again like answer will be become same here but it was it, it would have become wrong answer in the previous code that we had written great then if you were able to follow this well just make sure that you yeah comment out if you were able to follow it well and yeah uh, let's see you guys tomorrow with a new problem on the same algorithm and yeah let's talk about the time complexity also quickly before we wrap it up so all of these operations you can clearly see are o of n so just one one loops so of n and uh, o of one in space because we are not declaring anything extra so yeah oh yeah actually not we are declaring extra because i made the two calls with value why not with reference because if you say i'm changing the values here mm -hmm. right so so that would have been a problem uh, you can do it by restoring the array also in which case you can pass these by reference and then you will not have be having a problem of extra space so do try that one as well out okay then see you guys tomorrow we will we'll move meet for a next problem on the same concept bye